Hi, it's Deanna, and today I want to try to show you what it's like to look inside 120-year-old binoculars from France. And these are probably from around 1890. They're by Marchand in Paris. And now this isn't going to be a high-quality video, but nonetheless, I'm going to try to show you how far these actually zoom in. So take a look at the flamingo over there, and let's try to see how much closer the flamingo is. If I can only find the flamingo now. Oh, here we go. Now the sun is giving this a huge glare, so you'd see better detail if the sun wasn't directly shining into these lenses right now. Now the next test is those yellow roses back there. I don't know if you see them. Behind the weeping cherry tree. Isn't that really cool? I wish it wasn't so sunny out. Then we could really see this. There we go. Now let's try the flamingo again, which is down there. Now let me try something else. This is actually fun. Now I'm moving closer to the yellow roses. See how much this uh, really brings things in close? So if you were in the theater, this would bring the players that are on the stage that much closer to you. So here's the red roses. It's just really sunny out here today. So I'm trying to find a spot where we're not gonna get too much direct sunlight into the lenses. Now the next test, let's get some of my lavender and my sage. Here's my lavender bush. Here's my sage. Isn't that pretty cool? Now let's get a purple rose. They're in pretty bad shape right now. I have to prune them. So that's all folks. So I thought you guys would find this interesting. These are beautiful, beautiful old glasses and they still work. Now, when I look through them, I see everything much clearer. The reason why you saw things and it seemed out of focus was because the sun was directly aimed into these glass lenses and it made it much harder. But I thought you guys would find this interesting. And once again, thanks for watching.